driving a whole way around Australia. Um, and you told me you met some good friends, didn't you? Met a oh couple. my god, this is the story. Like uh, he was, I was in the chair, literally, I don't know how cut him. And he just gradually drops in this story. I'm not going to spoil it because actually, I, I think this is like one of those things that actually is like a bit of serendipity where you take these like, like almost like a risk. Go around Australia, yeah. and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go around, and then you meet some. Yeah, two weeks into backpacking, um, and we worked so hard to go out there that um, I think. I saved about, I sold my car, I think we took about £10,000 out of this. But the pound was so strong against the dollar at the time, it was like having £20,000. It was fantastic. So <clears throat> we decided, having worked hard to get out there, so we decided that we're going to have a little break. So we went to this island called Grotness Island, which is just off of Perth. <clears throat> we were there camping. We were there two days. And it's pretty unheard of, but a cyclone had come in and um, it was just like a 24-hour power shower. So everyone just congregated to this pub and chairs were uh, of a shortage <laughs> and we ended up sitting next to this couple and just sort of got on with them famously just all day long drinking and chatting till the pubs were closing and then until the pub was closed and he said well do you want to carry on drinking i was like all right i said well, <laughs> but this yeah, is the only yeah. pub on the island he went yeah. oh no not when you've got your own boat so all day long i've been chatting with him yeah. and uh Suddenly, I, mean, I didn't know his worth, uh, and um, you know, he took us out to the dinghy, and I was thinking, I mean, that was big enough. I'd have been happy sitting on that. Anyway, just sort of <laughs> chugging out, and we're on this five-bedroom boat, and it's like, bloody hell, two, da two days backpacking, and I'm sitting on a millionaire's yacht. I yeah. mean, what are the chances? I got on so well with them, met up with them for breakfast the next day, and just there and then, he handed me all his snorkeling and his air tanks and he said, I'll see you next weekend. Have have good fun this week and I'll see you next weekend. So he was coming back to Rotness Island after a week's work. So I met up with him again and had a good time. And then um, we came back to Perth after a break and he um, he helped us get our car that we were going to travel around in. Went out for a meal with a couple of times with him and then, um, then we went on our travels. But every sort of destination around Australia that we... We um, sent them a little postcard just to let them know where we were and, you know, um, and we were due to finish our trip in um, Sydney where my cousin lives. But during the travelling, we got engaged um, and about two months later, Renee fell pregnant with Ollie. Um, so we decided um, that we'd get married on Rockness Island. So we told them and once they knew that we were going to do that, they insisted that we stay with them for the last month of our trip with them. And um, yeah, so we did. And we met up with them back in England a couple of times when the kids were about five. And um, have just recently gone out to South of France with them. Um, <laughs> uh, they know I've remarried and um, I've always sort of stayed in contact. And they um, very kindly were in Europe and offered me and Liz to join them in Cairns and Nice on the... Not bad, is it? That's yacht. not a bad little thing, is it? It's thinking Mixing about the whole thing. Yeah, yes. not bad, is it? Yeah, <laughs> not bad, not bad. But it just shows you, doesn't it, I think, that whole thing about if you just go, you know, take those little risks, I think yeah. your luck tends to increase and actually talk about... And again, just put yourself out there, yeah, just yeah. like, honestly, you, do, you, you know, you talk, um, have fun, generally... Um, you do, I mean, you yeah, do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, cool. Just have fun, yeah, just enjoy people, enjoy personalities, enjoy life. <laughs>